The center is a nine-man team, but each man is a group of experts. One group is attached to headquarters. Two service squadrons do third echelon airplane repair. Two quartermaster truck companies handle all transport. One service quartermaster company handles clothing and supplies. Two ordnance companies deal with airplane weapons and ammunition and repair of vehicles. A signal company handles all communications to and from the center. And finally, there may be an MP company and an engineer's outfit. Here is the home field of this team of specialists, the Combined Air Service Center. It's planted in the midst of tough and unknown country. You'll see no buildings and no warehouses because the enemy is close, plenty close. But this time, they're not enemy planes. They're strictly USA, squadrons of A-20s. And if they ride the air, it's because down here on the ground, there's an air service center. There are prop experts in a portable tent and motor experts in a shop on wheels and parachute experts, electrical experts in a trailer shop hidden in the trees, experts in heavy metal repair, and experts in repair of the most delicate flight instruments, a center of experts in keeping planes in the sky. Yes, the enemy is close. He strikes back hard and often, but the center has its own medical service and its own guns. It can defend itself against attack by ground or by air. The center is ready for any emergency. In addition to its heavy repair shops, it can send out a special light mobile unit. Moving out into dangerous territory many miles from the center, it can do salvage and repair on the actual scene of the crash. These are the technical services of the center that fill the needs of metal planes and steel guns. What about the services that have to do with men? With how they feel and whether they've heard from home and what they wear, what they get to eat, whether they get paid. The services summed up in the word morale. The center is equipped to send out these services too, whenever they're necessary, direct to the combat field. The center delivers money, oversees pay, to anyone who has it coming to him out here. And the center even helps him find something to spend a little on by getting a few cases of Cokes out into this thirsty wilderness. And the center can send its own chaplain out to a combat field to conduct services on a Sunday morning in the open air. And when there's been heavy fighting, planes lost, others come back with flak and bullet holes, the medical service of the center will get on the job, adding its own resources to those of the combat field, treating the wounded as they arrive finding the bullet with portable x-ray equipment, ready to operate at once. Emergencies are routine in the work of the center.